Asato ma sadgamaya Tamaso ma jyotir gamaya Mrityor ma amritam gamaya Om Shanti 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 Almighty God lead us from untruth to truth from darkness to light from mortality to immortality sisters and brothers this is an evening of peace an evening of shanti aman we all have gathered here for a very special iftar interfaith iftar prayer for peace prayer for peace, for solidarity for harmony on behalf of the observer research foundation on behalf of minazul quran and in dialogue foundation i extend a very warm welcome to all of you who have responded to our invitation in such large numbers these days there is much discussion on iftar कुछ लोग कहते हैं कि इफ्तार तो एक केवल टोकनिज्म है इफ्तार केवल सिंबलिज्म है इफ्तार तो केवल पॉलिटिकल माइलेज के लिए किया जाता है तो ऐसे लोग जो हैं कहने वाले वो कृपया यहां आए और ये देखें हम जो यहां आए हैं वो किसी पॉलिटिकल मतलब के लिए या फायदे के लिए नहीं आए हैं हम यहां टोकनिज्म के लिए नहीं आए हैं वी हैव कम हियर बिकॉज टुडे आवर हार्ट्स एंड माइंड्स आर वन वी नॉन मुस्लिम्स वी हैव कम हियर टू शो आवर सॉलिडेरिटी विथ आवर मुस्लिम सिस्टर्स एंड ब्रदर्स our fellow fee feeling <laughs> our fraternity and i suppose that our muslim brethren are here they would have conducted their iftar at many other places but they responded to the joint call of our three organizations and i suppose that and i don't suppose i'm absolutely certain that they reciprocate these feelings i especially thank all the dignitaries spiritual dignitaries on the dais and also off the dais we have cardinal his eminence Oswald Gracious he is none other than representative of Pope Francis here we have Swami Sarvalokananda we have many other dignitaries here we have his excellency mark price the consul general of australia here we have two of our very dear friends from china here we have ambassador abhyankar who was india's ambassador to syria a few years ago we have so many other dignitaries here we have come here because we truly believe we truly believe in the spirit of interfaith harmony friends ramzan has a very profound 
spiritual message, the message of self-purification, of self-strengthening, through self-denial, through self-disciplining and submission to God. The more you think of Ramzan, you know, as a non-Muslim, as a Hindu, as a practicing Hindu, I bow my head before the God of Muslims, who is also my God. This interfaith prayer for peace is an occasion for us friends to strengthen our resolve to be together, to live together and to take a pledge that we shall spread the message of peace and we shall ensure that our city, our country and our common home, the world is rid of all kinds of conflicts in the name of religion. We must begin with Mumbai because we all, belong to the, we all belong to this great city. We must make Mumbai first a city of peace, a city without any kind of violence, the kind of violence that it, a few years ago has spoiled the name of our city. This should be a city without any more communal violence, acts of communal violence or any other kinds of violence. And the same, and the same should be our ideal as far as India is concerned and the same should be our ideal as far as all of our South Asia is concerned. And it is for this reason, friends, that last year, beginning of last year, we had an interfaith conference which we called People's Sark. All of us know Sark. Next year there is going to be a Sark summit in Islamabad and we are very happy that our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi is going to attend the Sark summit in Islamabad next year. We are also very happy that just a few days ago there was a positive meeting between the Prime Ministers Modi ji and Nawaz Sharif. We believe that it's not enough for politicians and heads of governments of SARC countries to sit together. Of course, that must happen in an uninterrupted and uninterruptible manner. At the same time, it is our responsibility as citizens, as common people, to have a dialogue to have a continuous conversation and interaction so that we make South Asia a zone of peace, of cooperation, of harmony, of progress for all. And as I said, friends, we must begin with Mumbai. Because if we don't begin with Mumbai, if we don't begin with our own neighborhood, then it's of no use. All the rest is mere words. And therefore, Today's iftar is an occasion for us to take a pledge. And that pledge is, is contained in a declaration that we have formulated. It is going to be circulated to all of you shortly. It will be adopted towards the end of this program. I once again Welcome all of you. I especially welcome Kaiser Khalid Saab, whom I know for quite some time. We have been interacting on, on several good, good issues, and I hope that we'll continue that interaction. In fact, I had also spoken to the police commissioner, Sri Rakesh Mariaji. He had promised to come. He must have been held up for some reason, but it is our endeavor to involve all, all people from all walks of life so that we strengthen the culture of peace, the conduct of peace in Mumbai, in India, in South Asia and all over the world. Dhanyawad. Jai Hind.